You know, when I was a kid, I actually used to like just suck on lemon wedges. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I got a vlog for y'all, it's happening. I'm in the mood, I've been watching them more, which then inspires me more to do it. Here we are, we are vlogging, it is Monday, I've got some lunch going. It's just some ramen noodles. It's the last ramen noodle packet. I've been eating like more healthy, but I do have to go to Trader Joe's today and do some groceries. I don't have to get a lot of stuff because I do still have some stuff that I didn't eat from last week. Anyway, while I eat, I um am, I haven't, usually I'm an all like AB student. Um, I don't fail classes, I don't really get C's, like if I apply myself, I get an A or a B. Um, and, you, and then it's usually even a high B. But the keyword there is if I apply myself. If you have ever struggled with depression or anxiety, for me, I get anxiety because I need everything to be perfect. And so my procrastination comes from like, I know that like I'm just this very driven person to where once I start something, I don't want to stop until I finish it. And that's how I am, especially with like designing websites or coding. I have a very hard time just working on bits of coding at like one piece of time. That's why, which if you've ever coded before, you know like that's not something that you just sit down and like crank out all in one time, even though I definitely do that a lot. Um, but that's why I'm like a fiend about using comments within the codes. So that way I know where my mind was when I was writing out a code. Um, anyway, so my whole moral of the story is you guys know that I've been having a really hard time with my depression and anxiety over the past year and one of the consequences of that was I had to withdraw from the majority of my classes this semester, the spring semester, and the class that I stayed in, I didn't get the best grade. Uh, I got a C which I'm not proud about whatsoever. But so while I eat my ramen noodles, I'm gonna sit down and we have this GPA calculator on our um, school's website. So I'm gonna sit down. I know what my GPA is right now. It's a 3.315, 3.3, so 3.3 something. So I'm gonna sit down and go semester by semester, each, go through each semester and figure out the hypothetical GPA that I could graduate with if I get all A's in the rest of my classes. And then I'm going to, so I'm gonna write it out, make it all look nice and pretty, and I'm gonna rip it out, and I'm going to keep it like at the front of my planner or somewhere where I'm gonna see it a lot as motivation to be like, if you get an A in this class, or if you get all A's this semester, then this is like, you can, you can still have this GPA. You can still graduate with like top honors type situation. So that is what's happening, because I'm a freak. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna go grocery shopping and I do have to go before 4.30, which is 2.12 right now. So before 4.30 I have to go to the communications advising, declare public relations as my second major. Again, because I'm a freak, I was gonna do just a comm minor, but the credit difference isn't that much and I'm like, you know what? I'm back in school already, Might as why not just go ahead and get a second major? I don't have to take any gen ed, I already have one bachelor's degree. Let's top it off with two more majors, two more degrees. Mm. Did I mention that I'm a little bit of a freak? Oh man, this is the best feeling when it's hot out. Goodbye, goodbye, hello, bare feet. Okay, Bubba, let's get some food. You were so good. You guys, I'm so happy because we finally, knock on wood, I'm gonna say this and then tomorrow he's gonna up and destroy something. But we finally can leave him just out in our room without having to crate him while we're gone and he doesn't destroy anything. Yay! All right, are you ready? Can you sit? Good boy. Wait. No? Are you a good boy? Are you hungry? <laughs> Amen! <laughs> Alright, let's see what I got for groceries, eh? Shall we? Let's recycle this. Boop. Okay, oh, that's what I forgot. We just ran out of vinegar, because I use vinegar for fabric softener for towels. If you don't do that, you definitely should because it fluffens them up and helps get rid of anything stale and stinky on it. Y'all, oh, I forgot how much I loved Trader Joe's. 
But let's start at Target first because I got some frozen stuff in there that needs to get in the freezer. So, we got some Pringles because my word, I have been craving these babies like non-stop recently. Specifically, the sour cream and onion ones. These are so good. Oh, I know they're not healthy, but yeah, that's a thing. Got myself some more protein. I have never actually used this brand before. I have heard very good things about it that it tastes very good. The price of the PE Science protein, it's like a month's worth of servings and it's about the same price. Well, it's 30-ish dollars. Yeah, this is definitely not as budget friendly, but I am completely out of protein and really couldn't wait to order more. Also, I just couldn't be bothered to go to a vitamin shop because it's, uh, yeah. I already went that way and forgot to stop. So anyway, we're gonna give this a shot because this was at Target. Crispy chicken. It's not actually chicken, but you know, we're trying to eat less meat, reduce the environmental impact. Um, and this is, these are going to be mixed in with the last two things of these that I have. And I'm gonna make a little stir fry out of those because I already have a stir fry thing here. This is for smoothies that I already have. Oh, excuse you. At Trader Joe's, we got some bananas for smoothies. Along with the chicken stir fry, which, oh, that's something else I forgot. I forgot to get more rice. Oh well. Um, so we're also going to do some spaghetti. spaghetti. Uh, so I got some ground turkey, some roasted garlic marinara sauce. I got some extra garlic just because if y'all been with me for a while, you know how much I love garlic. I'm like, oh, mm, so good. Picked up some more 21 seasoning salute. Oop, there we go. This stuff is so good it's just like the perfect kind of seasoning to put on anything and everything got some more pink himalayan salt to go on the side of the spaghetti i say spaghetti because it's actually i've got this pasta penne pasta that i need to use up and it's a veggie one but we're gonna use that we're gonna have a little salad on the side with some brussels sprouts uh, and then put up some avocado on top of that with the spaghetti, pasta, penne, whatever. And then I saw this at Trader Joe's and y'all, oh my God, s'mores are like my downfall. I love s'mores, I love s'mores anything. So we're gonna give this a go, I'ma I'm try this. I'm not good at this type of stuff. I am not good at doing tags. I am not good about talking about really scary, really real stuff. But we're gonna give it a go. My friend River tagged me in this challenge about a month ago now, and I kept putting it off, mostly because I didn't wanna talk about something without actually also being a part of it, and you'll see what that is in a second. I was scared. So if you don't know what leukemia is, it is a type of blood cancer that affects the white blood cells. Um, more specifically, it affects the blood making tissues. Uh, so they produce abnormal white blood cells, which means that a person's body either can't fight infections off as well or can't fight them off at all, which is obviously a very big deal, very scary, and is life-threatening. Um, people die from this. A few different treatments that are available for patients with leukemia. Obviously, there's chemotherapy, but there's also a stem cell transplant that they can receive from a bone marrow transplant. But in order to receive that, they have to find a donor who is a match. There are different things that come into play with that, but they need to be like an exact match in order for it to work. There's actually a registry called bethematch.org. I will leave a link to it down below. You can sign up to be a donor. River did this um, in his video, said that he became a donor, and for me, it's something that I have wanted to do for a while now, even before I got tagged in this challenge, but to be quite honest, I was afraid of the possibility of being somebody's match, and donating bone marrow. Um, I did research, it doesn't hurt. You get anesthesia, so you don't really feel any pain. You might have some body aches, 
um, might take a few days or a couple weeks to kind of get 100% back to normal but for the most part it's a pretty pain-free experience you don't pay to join the registry you sign up they send you a swab kit send it in and if you are a match for somebody it is still 100 percent voluntary you don't have to donate i mean if you do donate then you could quite literally save somebody's life so for me even like acknowledging the fact that the reason that i kept putting it off was because i was afraid i feel so stupid saying that because the fear that i felt of potentially being a match and donating is nothing compared to the fear that someone with leukemia is facing on a daily basis of if they don't find a match, they they might not live. Like they might be toward the end of their days. So for me, like coming to that realization, I was just like, this is ridiculous. I could quite literally save somebody's life and you could too. So I highly encourage you to go to the website down below, be the match.org. Do look into it, see if it's something that you would be interested in. And I just would definitely encourage you to at least join the registry because you never know if you could be somebody's match, if you could save their life unless you join. So with that said, I have a lemon. The challenge is that I just have to bite into the lemon. Anything for a good cause, right? <sighs> Here we go, lemons for leukemia. This is happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ah. To continue this challenge and continue spreading awareness, I tag my dear friends, wonderful the alley and Lindsay, AKA, Trolley dolly. Allie, if you want to wait till after you have your baby, I understand. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, I actually used to like, just suck on lemon wedges. Go join, be the match.org. Till next time, work hard, be kind, spread good vibes. I love you all, goodbye. Oh my God, I need to drink some water. Ugh.